We'll go with it. The Cosmo Dave Cameron darts review starts right now. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. We have a great video for you today. Actually pretty excited about this one, but we're going to be taking a close up look at the Cosmo Discovery label, David Cameron darts. Now, David hails from Canada, just north of me. He's been on the scene for a long, long time. Phenomenal player. Now, I happen to pick these up over at Darts Corner. Now, I happen to have, also happen to have a one-time discount code. So the link to these darts as well as the discount code will be down in the pinned comment. So make sure you check it out there. I also happen to pick up this rather affordable new t-shirt. Haven't washed it yet, so it's got to shrink. But uh, yeah, they got some great deals over at Darts Corner. So again, make sure you check them out. And that discount code will be down in the pinned comments. So what do you say we grab the other camera? We'll take a close-up look at these things, go over some stats and dimension. And then, as I always do, I'll get them on the board, throw them for a few turns. And while I'm doing that, I'll give you some feedback on what I think of the Cosmo David Cameron darts. So here we go, guys. Should be a good video. Okay, guys, here we go. The Cosmo Dave Cameron darts. As you see here, it comes in this really tiny square packaging. We do have the stats and dimensions right there on the side. So we'll double check those here in just a second. But hey, check this out. This right here is the very first scene that I've filmed in this entire video. I just took these out, put them together, and look at this. A little bit disappointed with this review already, but if you can see here, look at that. My flight is cracked already. I have not thrown these darts like I just said. I just took them out of the package, took a picture for the thumbnail, and then I noticed the cracked flight. So yeah, a little bit disappointed with that already actually quite a bit disappointed with that already but um there we go i guess so we'll crack on with these stats and dimensions okay there we go fully assembled and man what a great looking set of darts i love the red and white multi rings here representing the color of canada's flag i think it's awesome that they come with a set of cosmo stems and flights however like i just said would be nice if i could get a Brand new set of darts without a cracked flight. But regardless, running down some stats and dimensions, these are a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in kind of long, 54.2 millimeters. In the barrel width, as it said on the package, 6.4 millimeters wide. However, on my digital calipers, I got a reading of 6.3 millimeters wide. The entire length of the barrel, double check that a few times. So 6.3 millimeters wide. Now, these are advertised as 24 grams, match weighting, as you would expect from Cosmo, spot on. The first barrel, 24.03. Second barrel, 24.04. Third barrel, 24.05 grams. So only two one hundredths of a gram off. Again, excellent match weighting from Cosmo. What do you say? We get a close up look at these beautiful barrels. Okay, let's get a little bit closer look at these barrels. And oh, hey, before we go any further though, look at that silver point. They stick out of the barrel. 31 millimeters long. So we're dealing with a probably, I would guess, 36 millimeter long Cosmo point. You really don't see points that long on stock darts all that often. They are silver though, so it kind of yet remains to be seen how well they're going to stick in the board. We're going to find out in just a second. But the barrel itself, classic straight barrel design. However, there are three different grip zones and three different grip levels as well. On the front end here, you've got this tapered nose cone with a twin ring grip. I'd go ahead and give that a level three grip on a scale of one to five. In the middle of the barrel, you've got your classic multi rings, painted multi rings, and I'd go ahead and give that a grip level two and a half on a scale of one to five. And then on the back end, I think you'd call that an elliptical grip. And wow, that is insanely grippy. I'd say a level four grip on a scale of one to five. But yeah, there we go. And on the back end, you obviously see the Cosmo number three slim stems and spinners. I'm not a fan of spinners at all. I think you guys know that. However, here in the United States, spinners are insanely popular. I would say the majority of players use them. However, if you look at the professional players, spinners are almost non-existent. And all that tells me is that you do not need spinners to play top level darts. So there we go, guys. There's the Cosmo Dave Cameron dart. What do you say we get these things on the board? See how they fly. Okay, here we go. Let's just jump right into this and have a few throws with the completely stock Cosmo David Cameron darts. And you know, I only been warming up here for just a few minutes and I already like the points. Yes, they're silver, but I've had no issues with them falling out of the board. However, just because they're so long, I'm able to group these things incredibly tight. I wish more companies out there would offer longer points 
in their stock darts. 36 millimeter points here, that gets a big thumbs up. However, on the opposite end of the dart, we've got these spinners and man, do I really dislike these things. Ah, oh, they're just terrible. I mean, actually, if you guys saw the first throw of the video when I was throwing at the bullseyes, that last dart, where was that going? What sort of deflection are we talking there? I mean, it's just, these things are not working with these darts. And you know what? So many American players use spinners. I would say more American players use spinners than not. But then if you look at the professional players over the past 40 years, I mean, maybe a handful of players have ever used spinners. They're just pretty much non-existent in the pro ranks. And that's the part I don't understand. If all these professional players can average 100, 105, 110 without spinners, then why on earth do you need them to average 40, 50, 60, 70, or whatever you do average? Just the, uh, I don't know, just doesn't add up, does it? Not a big deal. Don't look into that too much because probably 95% of us, when we buy new darts, switch out and use our own stems and flights anyway, so... Not a huge deal. But as far as the barrels here, you know, it's really nice to see Cosmo offer up some affordable barrels. Ooh. And they are throwing really nice. I just don't like, there's a rattle as well. It drives me nuts. It feels like my stem's loose. Can you hear that? Listen. Well, anyway, all right, enough about the spinners. But yeah, the barrels themselves, I'm gripping right on the multi, our painted multi rings in the middle of the barrel. So it's a great barrel for any type of gripper. Front, you've got the um, double, what is it? The, yeah, I guess the twin ring grip in the front. I drew a blank there for a second. Multi rings in the middle, elliptical grip on the back end, incredibly grippy. So yeah, this is a barrel for all, all dart players. And the fact that it is a straight barrel dart, I think it's gonna work well for pretty much the majority of all players. All right, we'll do um, one more here. You know, it's funny too, I gotta to remind myself, I have a really strong throw, so I have to remind myself with a heavier dart, 24 grams with a standard size flight, just kind of throw it gently, let the dart and the weight do the work as well as the flight. So, if you see me pulling a dart, that's because I'm throwing it too hard just going to kind of float them in there. Oh, can I get under that? I don't think so. Let me try. Ah, right into the one. All right, we're not going to end with a 41 here. One more. Oh, boy. Can I get over that? That's a tough one. It's standing up a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I think that went in. Ooh, did that go in too? All right, we will take the 100 there. But yeah, awesome set of darts. I don't know, disregard the stuff I said about the stems and flights because probably we're gonna change them out anyway. They're just, these things are just so annoying. They rattle. Anyway, oh, and they came cracked, so not a fan of that. But anyway, <laughs> don't let that um, deter you because these barrels and the points, top-notch stuff. I mean, really well done from Cosmo here. It's a great package at a very affordable price as well. So there's that. But hey guys, we do have one more clip for you. And I'm gonna keep on my same shirt here because it's new and I kinda like it. So here we go guys, hope you enjoy it. Hey, there we go. And if you heard, my phone went off right, uh, right before that first start. That's annoying. Anyway, boom, minus the boom shirt, but I got on my new shirt. Which was that? Second dart? I don't know, but those two were grouped crazy tight, which I think has a lot to do with these 31 millimeter points. It makes grouping the darts so, so easy and Bad YouTuber not turning down their phone before trying to hit a 180. Well, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the Cosmo David Cameron darts. Again, all the info will be down in the pinned comment. Pick these up at Darts Corner. 
and there's going to be a one-time discount code down for you guys or down in the pinned comment for you guys so feel free to leave a comment thumbs up always appreciated here and until next time guys we'll see you on the next video later